Hi guys! Um, today I've done something um, quite bright I think. Um, I just wanted to have a little go with a lipstick called Candy Yum Yum. Um, I took a little, f I actually did a look with it yesterday um, and I just um, did the kind of normal smoky eye and then I actually just used this lip colour. Um, today I just wanted to do a sort of feline eye and I did think I was going to put black on the bottom but then I changed my mind and I used a little bit of um, green eyeliner on the bottom just to switch it up a little bit. If you want to know how I did it, how I created it, just keep on watching um, and obviously I'll name all the products. I'm going to use a little bit of Laura Mercier's foundation primer, just the original foundation primer. And I am just popping that onto my hands and I'm just going to moisturise that into my skin or press it into my skin. So I love this primer as you can probably tell. So for foundation today I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier Moisture Supreme in Tawny Beige. Um, this is I would say a medium coverage foundation. Um, it's just got a really nice kind of satiny finish um, which is what I really like about it. So I just sort of dab it more or less in the kind of cheek area. A little bit on the nose and then the remainder just kind of on the forehead area. So again, I'm just going to take the, um, this is a miracle sponge, I think it's called. I think I've called it a beauty blender. It's not a beauty blender. It's, it's obviously really similar. It's just not called um, a beauty blender. Um, and I'm just going to damp, it's, it's actually damp, so I'm just going to push that into the skin using that. Can you see this um, issue here? It was a spot, and I decided I would pick it. No, actually I decided I would just kind of, not burst it, but just help it along. Yeah, helped it along to the point where it's like, hi. So I bought the um, Prep and Prime highlighter. Um, there's a bit of a hype of this on YouTube. Um, I bought it in um, Bright Forecast, and I think it's okay. I think the peach luster may be a tiny little bit too orangey for me. Um, I quite like it actually. I've used it a little bit more now. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I hadn't used it enough to kind of pass comment. But I think I've used it and it's quite good. Um, I quite like it. So I'm just going to pop it um, underneath the eye. Mainly sort of concentrating it into that kind of inner corner and sort of just taking it in a little bit um, to the lash line slightly. So I think the whole idea behind this is that um, you sort of illuminate the area before you go to put concealer on. Now there's a number of ways that you can use this. I've seen people apply their foundation, apply their concealer and then use this after. I guess just do what works for you. There's no wrong or right way um, of using the product. I just find that this is better for me because it just tends to brighten the area just a little bit more. Um, and this brush is a Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush. For my concealer I'm just using the MAC NW35 in and this is just the normal moisture cover. I think because obviously I have that kind of prep and prime illuminator underneath I tend to not go too heavy with my concealer because I find if I go too heavy with a concealer and say use something like Studio Fix, the whole area just starts to look really heavy. And that's one of my biggest things. I hate it when this whole under eye area looks really heavy. Because um, it's really, I just find it's really aging. I am actually just going to take a little bit of Studio Fix uh, concealer and just kind of use it on that. I was actually just looking for my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Palette. Um, but I moved my whole kind of filming area. So everything's just a, a little bit sort of um, packed away. This is really painful. I walked in, like, I went to my mum's because um, we took my little one to the cinema and my mum was like, ah, what is that? So to set the skin, I'm just using my favourite Laura Mercier translucent powder. If you watch my videos, this is the best powder in the whole wide world. I'm just using that again on a Laura Mercier kind of bronzing brush and I'm just kind of stippling it into the skin so not swiping it, just 
kind of stippling it so that we don't disturb any of the concealing work. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of my primer. This is the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Tawny. You've seen me use this a thousand times. I love it. It's amazing. It's pigmented so it's kind of like a concealer as you can see. Um, but it's lightweight enough so that it's like a primer. So I just apply a little bit on and just with my finger please ignore the state of my nails. Um, I don't really have an excuse for my nails so yeah. Right I'm going to use um, MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Stud which is just one of my favourite products to use um, for my eyebrows. So I always try and leave the front part of the brow as free as possible of colour because that's generally how people's brows are. Um, that doesn't always happen. I always get a bit too excited and take the colour kind of pretty much everywhere. Okay, so that's brows done. Um, and the next thing that I will do is take um, Max Uninterrupted uh, Eyeshadow. This is a pro product. Uh, it's, I think it's called a pro long wear. So just taking that on a Laura Mercier ponytail brush and I'm just kind of going to put that into the crease just to kind of warm the crease up and also to give me a little bit of definition. Just a little bit of structure to the eye. So we're not so flat. So I'm going to use a little bit of coal just into the um, waterline and um, that's just obviously just to kind of ground the eye. And this one is by um, Givenchy, I think it's pronounced. Use the Laura Mercier uh, Cream Eyeliner in Noir. So I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and just include a little bit of colour. And this is again just one of the um, Laura Mercier cream eyeliners and this is Canar. Such a beautiful colour. It's like a kind of very deep teal. It's really beautiful on all skin tones and all eye colours. And I'm just going to take that on a um, the same liner brush and I'm just going to run that underneath. And now what I'm going to do is literally just smudge that with a uh, pencil brush. And that will just kind of keep it really nice and soft. So the lashes that I'm going to be using are just some ones from Primark. These are called Sultry. Um, the lash band is really nice and thin on these. Um, they're one pound, so can't really go wrong.
And so for a contour, I'm going to use the Sleek Contour Palette. I'm just going to use the darker colour, and I'm using this on a MAC 227 brush. And because it's that kind of angled, sort of, um, almost like a stubby end, um, that's going to give us a really sort of nice line to kind of start to contour with. So just kind of start at the um, back of the cheek, and then just sort of feathering it upwards. I'm taking a little bit of um, Sunbeam highlighter by MAC, it's a golden bronze complexion highlighter and um, I'm just going to take that and put it on top of my cheeks, so just under the high points of the cheeks now. And again I think I'll just use the Beauty Blender just to um, blend that out. I like. I use my finger as well. So to line my lips I'm going to use Max Lip Liner and this one is in magenta. How amazing is that colour? I think is, um, especially on sort of deeper skin tones, when you wear such a sort of fluorescent colour, you need a little bit of gloss on top of it. Um, and I just think it just kind of helps to tie it all together. Not necessarily soften it, because there's nothing that you can soften about a fluorescent <laughs> lipstick. But, um, it just kind of helps pull it together and I think you wear it slightly better when it's a bit more of a sort of glossy PVC kind of look to the lip. This is Wild Orchid and it was from a really old collection that Estee Lauder did called Bronze, Bronze Goddess. I always say that wrong. by MAC. Now that comes up really light on my camera but it actually just adds a soft kind of touch of colour rather than anything that's too kind of harsh. And I'm just, actually I'm just applying it with um, the finishing brush and the reason I'm doing that is just because I just want that sort of soft touch of colour as opposed to um, a structured sort of blush colour. More sort of like a flush. Okay guys, that's it for me. I am going to now wash my face and go to bed. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you like the look guys. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and please press uh, subscribe and um, hopefully I should have some more videos coming out soon. Um, I have a link to my Instagram which I shall post the link to in the description box and I'll also list all the products that I used as well. If you have any requests or any comments, please leave them below and I shall respond to you as soon as I can. And that's about it, guys. Have a lovely evening doing whatever you're doing and I shall speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye.